Welcome back to Cactus Court Plays Mass Effect 3. My name is Kevondre. My name is Bobby. Last time, we saved Admiral Zalcoris Fos... Or... Fosquibquid? Yeah, Fosquibquid. Yes. On Rannoch. And he was like, No, don't save me, save my friends. And then, no, we saved him instead because it's the right thing to do. And then... Later on, he was like, Yes, that was the right thing to do. That was the right thing to do because everyone else is going fucking ape shit. And they need leadership. And I knew that, so I didn't even leave that up to the robot. I'm like, yeah, we got to do that. And then, uh, then we went into the Geth consciousness and got a bunch of Geth on our side. Uh, it was pretty dope. And yeah. we got a uh, moral quandary. Whoa, 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 whoa! You pushing me around, <laughs> asshole? I don't, I don't support this kind of insubordination. <laughs> Report to the captain's quarters ASAP. Never mind. <laughs> so this time. We are going back to Rannoch, and this is going to be the big one. I don't know how this is going to go. I've set it up so that we should be able to make peace, but that's still a decision to make, that the robot is going to make. So at the end of the day, we're, I think we're going to end up with two chances to make peace. One chance to kill the Quarians, one chance to kill the Geth. And it's, it's a four-way choice. Oh, yeah? A 50% chance to make peace. Yeah. So. That's better than most people get. Hopefully, we'll go that route. But I'm not going to stop it if it goes another way. Okay. It's all up to her. And if she chooses to just save the Geth, then maybe I'll agree with you last time. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to have Tally this time. Okay. Caden or James? Uh, let's go with James. Alright. I'm on a real Freddy kick right now, so... Everyone is all the time. Because he's great. The general manager. What the fuck? Why'd you give me the shitty gun? Give me back my fucking phalanx. You whore. Okay. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Or phalanx or... Sabine women or Satan women or... Look, that's a completely different thing. Don't be a dick about it. For, he said that the other day, and I was like, oh shit, is, do you know about this? Are we about to have a really cool conversation about shit that I know about? And he was like, I don't know, somebody else just said it. I'm like, fuck! No, it's uh, it's from uh, YouTube poop about seven brides for seven brothers. Yeah. It's right here in this book. The Sabine women or the Sabine women or something. The line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that? This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any Geth security. You are concerned. Hell yes, I'm concerned. You're still hooked up to the Reapers. No, we simply carry code upgrades that make us more effective, more intelligent. But you lied. You lied about rescuing those Geth on the server, and you're lying again now. Damn it, Legion, what do I have to do to gain your trust? We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? <sighs> the Geth are better than this. No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. <sighs> yeah. Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion telling them like it is. I, I like Legion. Mm-hmm. I have minimal opinion on the rest of the Geth. I still can't, you know, blame the Geth for doing the things that they've done. Joining the Reapers because everyone else hates them, but the Reapers say, hey, I, I got your back? That's some Hannah Astor shit. I get it. Yet. The whole nah. My world. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. I used to write poems about them. I'm not going to be an asshole. When we're done, maybe you'll write a new one. This is Ranok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. You've heard me say, Kilasalai. The best translation I can come up with is, by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. I already saw it. room window will be right here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. 
I know it doesn't mean much, but when this is over, I'll have a home. Guarian spent centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> good, good job there. That's a start. It's just like playing with a three-year-old. They just hand you something that's not there. Yeah. If like a three-year-old, you know, offers you a cup of tea to sip and there's nothing in it, you take that cup and you pretend to sip it. Yeah. I agree. We. How do you say my gun's name then? Because I've always said like phalanx or phalanx or something. Phalanx. Phalanx. Yeah. Don't like that thing, no sir. I don't pronounce things correctly. Uh, that's a lie. I pronounce a lot of things correctly. And a lot of things incorrectly. Yeah. And not just because like accents or whatever. It's almost as if words are very, very complicated things. No. Because, seriously, they are. <laughs> no. I'm a, I'm a cunning linguist, I know things too. Not anymore, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I lost my license for that like a year and a half ago. Yeah, that's right. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, baby. Yeet. My anthropology professor is really into etymology, so get to learn some interesting things from him and just from picking up languages here and there where I've moved around a whole lot. Words are complicated people. Words are complicated people. Very strange people. Yeah. I've never met a person as complicated as words. Yes. But they do have friends. Oh, go upstairs. Ladder, whatever. Fucking these guys. Oh, oh shit! I got a rocket. Thanks, James. That current dog's name is Rocket. Oh yeah? Yeah. Does he have power? No, it's a she. Oh well. They have strange names for animals. They're the ones that named my bunny Toki Wartooth. Oh, they are. I thought that you did. Nope, they did. Well, that's boring. After the Metalocalypse shoe. Yeah. I think that's more exciting than me doing it. And... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like, I assume that your dad is, like, our age, so I'm just like, whatever. Nah. Oh, I guess not. Why would you think my dad's our age? What because your mom robbed the cradle. Yes, she did. That is very true. Man, I don't think enough people know about that combo. The overload and carnage combo just makes them fucking explode. <laughs> Shit is so good. Bye. My uh, my parents have a ten year age gap. Yeah. So it's interesting. Fucking heck of people robbing the cradle, man. Yeah, man, it's great. Leslie robbing the cradle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is she? Yeah, cause she's she's a day older than me, and her boyfriend is what like twenty one. Damn. Something like that. Maybe maybe twenty two. Hey, fuck you. Is that why he said that? <laughs> We're not talking shit! <laughs> I'm kinda talking shit. No, no! <laughs> Don't talk shit! <laughs> okay there? Is that why we disagree on so many things? The age gap? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. It is, probably is, matters, perspective, right? Yeah, is that is that the nicer way to put it? Yeah. Okay. Like, don't be a dick about this. I haven't met the guy. I've only seen like a couple of Facebook posts. I shouldn't be a dick. Yeah. But I'm gonna. He does do a pretty good Spider-Man costume. He does. That's a great Spider-Man costume. Yeah. When it comes to the issues of Spider-Man, that guy knows everything. I can believe that. Like, I will always defer to his expertise. Aside from when he talks shit about the Amazing Spider-Man. I like those videos. Well, the first one. Yeah. And even parts of the second one. 
there were like two jokes in the second one. Yeah, that those jokes were fucking great. Yeah. Those jokes alone made it a better movie than Spider-Man 3. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> it would be hard to disagree with that. Despite the uh, iconic and wonderful dancing scene in Spider-Man 3. Yeah. It was the best part. Also Sandman. Sandman was really good in Spider-Man 3. But, you know that scene where... Um, when Sandman was created and he had all the sand and stuff. Yeah. They should have played Enter Sandman then. Watch out. By Metallica. I feel like that'd be a bit too on the nose. No. It look, for that movie I'm just saying. <laughs> for that movie specifically. Or on maybe, the nose is not a problem. Maybe they just couldn't get the or, rights. Or maybe it is a problem. I I'm <laughs> 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 Maybe that's the whole problem. Yeah. Uh and it was a beautiful scene when he became the Sandman. Yeah, that was good. It is possible they just straight up couldn't get the rights. We'll get through. Yeah, Metallica dicks. Yeah. Geth plasma shotgun. Uh, not for me. Keep it up. We'll get to the blast shield controls. Using Reaper upgrades to fight the Reapers? Your Geth pal's either a genius or insane. No, Legions are. Admiral Gow. Smashing. Smashing. And spies. <laughs> hey, asshole. Do you think that Tim Curry prepping for uh, Thornberries really just had space with an Australian accent? I was like, oh, yeah, that's good. I don't think that was in that one. I think he said space in like that one video game. Yeah, yeah, in the, in the live action video game yeah. thing. But it was that kind of like humorous, jokey mood when he said space and it just to give it up. It's like, what's that fun with this? Yeah. I I really get that vibe from Nigel's character in I, Wild Thornberries. God, I wish that he was still in Young Justice Season 3. Because he was like the only reason that I didn't hate that character. Sorry. And now it's somebody else who's just pretending to be him and I'm like, that's not the same. Now I hate this character more. Now you just that I used to know. Yeah. It was it was very unfortunate. We have bypassed security. By disabling the blast shield requires manual input. We have enabled a console shower commander. You have successfully opened the blast shield doors. Nice. Good. We'll be back after me. Yeah, I got you, fam. Hey, don't be a dick about this. Fuck you, Geth Prime. Geth Prime only wanna... Oh, yeah. What? She missed? What the Holy... fuck did you just do? Holy cock. Holy shit. I have nowhere to run. That's right, bitch. Get him. Okay, so I was trying to get away, but it turns out this is a dead end. <laughs> okay. But I also had seen that, like, you know how when I do this thing... Oh, no. When I do this thing, it's got, like, the arrow? Yeah. Sometimes it turns into a fist, and I can, like, fuck up the guy on the other side, and I tried to do that, but she missed nice. somehow. So don't ever do that thing again. It's really cool. Hello, hello. What? He went right through him. Yeet. Get him. He ain't loaded yet. Tally. Oh yeah, Spitfire. They didn't have time to load because they took off the elevator conversations, man. Holy shit. Holy god. Cox. Get the fuck out of my way, Tally, you stupid whore. Damn. Got him. Get him, London Spitfire. Yeah. London Spitfire? Yeah. Same thing. Hey. 
Who is shot what? Give me pictures. Pictures is fine. Yeah. I would, in fact, like this with Spider Man. Yeah, for real life Spider Man. You make billions. Yeah. I'd love to be J. Jonah Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson. You getting anything from the base? No. The old machines have not registered us as a threat. That's gonna bite him in the ass. We recommend haste. The Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. So a pretty good video about how in the new Spider-Man game, J. Jonah Jameson was the only reasonable part. Yeah. It was good shit. I think I sent that to you, didn't I? You might have. Yeah, I don't know. It was good. From Jameson's perspective, yeah, he's actually a really good guy. Yeah. Top notch. Reaper. Top notch bloke. We have located transportation. Copy that. Everybody get to the ship. Move! Take it off. Fuck it up. <laughs> oh, James all talking like he's fucking Richter. Be gone. You don't belong in this world, monster. Be gone. Thought? Yeah, that too. We just call all the Reapers thoughts. The people who take down the Reapers are just like the New Jersey Alliance. <laughs> that heretic over there? Yeah. Yes. That's what the I The New saying. Jersey Alliance? Yeah, they're just like as Jersey as fucking possible. I don't care for that. There's no reason for me to use this thing. I can't harm that thing with this gentleman. So we're just gonna go for a long for a ride. What did Will ever do to you? It makes. We run away, the guests stay under Reaper control, and the Quarians are dead. That's fine. Yeah, it's alright. This ends now. Edie, patch the Quarians to the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. Shepard Commander. Good luck. Acknowledged. Let it place. Shepard to fleet. I'll paint the weak spot, link up with the Normandy, and be ready to fire! This is a really cool bit of the game, too. Yeah. You nearly got it. Oh, yeah. Maybe don't get hit by that. Yeah. What the fuck? I know, I know, I know the way to do this, but I was just trying to do it like the first time that I did it and I died hella times. Nope. Fuck over here. Nope. Bam, bitch! Nice. That's right, whore. Are you gonna do nothing? I'm from the New Jersey Alliance. Get closer, do it again. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, bitch! Mmm, mmm. I'd like to dab on him. He is a hater. Do not dab on your haters. Folks. I'm going to dab on this Reaper. All you do is justify their hatred of you. I'm going to dab on the Reaper. And then everyone's like, okay, you know what, the Reapers, they got a good point. Don't dab the Reaper. Turns out, Logan Paul is is Commander Shepard. <laughs> that is the worst thing ever. <laughs> 
I, I do not ship it. Yeah, because he's not from the New Jersey Alliance. Snooky is uh, is Garrus Vicarian. Gross. Nice. This fucking this is a, like a hell of a cool reaper fight. earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. We might surprise you. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. It is inevitable. Without our intervention, Organics are doomed. We are your salvation. You're killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. Finish your war. Yeah, like it's the first time. Again, they're no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth fleet has stopped firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna have a four-way choice after this one. I'm okay. gonna for this time I'm gonna say upload the code. Okay, just so we can get to the big choice. Upload yeah. the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. Ten percent. This is Admiral Tali Zora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. We regret the deaths of the creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. All right. So, D4, right? Mm-hmm. One... Two, three, four. Alexa, roll a d4. I rolled a six-sided die and got three. Warn the fleet. Well, I mean, she got one that we... I said d4, but she did d6, but all the same. 
Looks like we're making peace. Legion, keep going. Shepard? Everyone listen up. This is Shepard. If you don't want to be blown out of the sky in about half a minute, stand down now. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. A few years ago, I saved you from the Geth at the Citadel. Just recently, I helped you take out that Dreadnought. 80%. But I'm through saving you. If you keep attacking, I will stand and watch while the Geth lay you to waste. It's your call. Keep us alive. Fingers starting to go in that eyeball. <laughs> <Yeah, man. laughs> Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I am... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kira Sanai. Commander Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Hanagar hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are they supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Ranog at Moran with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> you okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I thought your people needed you. What do I know about negotiating with AIs? You and Edie seem to get along. My people need me out there. Sooner or later, the Reapers will come for Ranok. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. You can help. Thanks. When this is all over, when I know my world is safe, then I can come home. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. A cocktease. Shepard gets to see, but we don't. Bullshit. Commander Shepard, I understand. Doesn't there something like a photo somewhere that you can kind of see yes, if you Counselor. do the right romance options? Two. If you fuck Tally. I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. 
but they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my own. I've received information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on this call. <sighs> okay, so the tension in my muscles is gone, so that's good. Yes. I was very concerned um, that we were going to cause genocide, but I'm glad that we didn't do that thing. Yes, we found a way to make peace. I'm very glad that the robot agrees with my my worldview. Galaxy view, whatever. Yeah. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Oh yeah. From Charla Ron Voss Ronak. Can you do a good Shora Agdashlu voice? No, not even a little. No, I'm not even going to try either. Commander. With assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turin fleet, while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seemed foolish to risk an incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. I understand that Admiral Zen thought. Uh, I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully, she will find some way to improve its functionality. I would never have believed you would talk Han down, Commander. Take care of Tally's aura for me. Keila Salai. Admiral Shala Ran Voss Ronak. Nice. And Tally telling us that she's down in engineering. So, my plan is, since we're only about half an hour in, we'll go talk to our crew members, then we'll go to the Citadel, finish up a couple things there, and talk to the Asari counselor like she asked us to, and then we'll call it after that. Okay. So we still got another half hour to go, folks. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be a full half hour, but... You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. The protective medical exoskeleton. I can even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle, you fool, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away. I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, if you can't gotta hand yeah. it to you, Commander, that's Oops. the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I hope that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen, too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kind of hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to him. Good shit. Yeah. It's good robot. Yes. And I know a thing or two about good robots. I, I'm i still reeling over the opportunity broker. <laughs> the stuff in this game, man. And now Legion's on the board, too. Nice. People outside honking over bullshit. Those Fuck them. Honkies. Where's this motherfucker? Those honkies? Yeah. James and Caden are in the lounge, okay. There they are, just lounging about. No big deal. Got the flush. Mmm. Full house. Got it on the river. Shit. Thought you were <laughs> bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir, Major Olenko, sir. <laughs> Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. I really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away. Investments. I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. That was quite the negotiation you have pulled off. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side? That's a very good thing. 
Hey, Commander. Hey. <laughs> Nothing else? Totally <laughs> took down a Reaper. Yeah, you did a lot. Sure did. Yes, you did. Hell yeah. Great. Um, yeah. <laughs> great, uh, great talk. Just just keep talking, Shepard. Whatever. Let's see, Gare Bear. You back there? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, Legion is one of the few that cannot survive this game. Um, Morden can survive, he just usually doesn't. Legion and Thane do not survive, regardless of your choices. Okay. That's kind of sad, but I get it. <laughs> Who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. The next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one, too. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. Cool. I should already be a saint. Saint Shepard? Based on the shit that I've already fucking done that you just said. Yeah, but you did it in a non-saintly way. That just kind of makes you a bitch. No, oh, fuck that noise. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good Sheplu. I'm not Sheplu. I'm just Shepard right now. But Sheplu? Default male Shepard. Uh, his model is based off of a guy named uh, James Vanderloo, and so people refer to him as Sheplu. Did not know that. Comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I. What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know. No chicken shit. I don't know. All you do is make stupid, sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just listen to yourself. Ken, if you comment on every... We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby... I think your legs are spectacular. Well, that's a start. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, bang later? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did little finger guns he after did. that. So. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Ramok. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them. The suits have become part of our society. But a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Ranok, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Y'all both owe everything to Legion. Let's be real here. Yeah, the, he's the real hero. The, the robot the was a better person than either of you. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually gone to really see Javik at all. Hi, Javik. You're a dick. Shiny black. <laughs> That's what it was. Settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. 
There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And the Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The shading on her hair is weird. weird. Yeah, perished. it happens a lot in this one. Perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Maybe. Or maybe you'd still be a soldier. I do wonder sometimes. Living a life of constant war, taking life in every battle. Does it get to you? It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Yeah, I think it's just a layering issue. Because you see that you can see her, like, skull yeah. through it. But the hair is just on a different layer. Which is interacting weird with the... With the Little particle effects. The particle right effects, yeah. Okay. Happens a lot in specifically Mass 3. I'm not sure why. Who knows? Doesn't bother me too much. They might have tried to just push the engines a bit too far with the graphics and it has to compensate somewhere. Maybe. Could be. Alright. To the Citadel where we need to go see the Asari. And we also need to check up with, um, what's his face? Cortez. Yeah, what's his face? And Miranda. Nah, fuck Miranda. I would usually say that, but we should probably see Miranda. Oh, alright. I guess that we have to. Hey, you know what you know what Tally said? She said that the, the Geth are getting into the suits and they're gonna help the Quarians mm -hmm. get better? Yeah. It's a Quarian buff. Nice. Which is the name of this episode. Gonna get them Quarian tough. See? Quarian to stuff, Quarian guff, now Quarian buff. Or Quarian tough. I'm okay with that too. Which would you prefer? I like buff better. Yeah. Me as well. Uh, refugee I camp. Need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. Because I think that uh, Cortez is over here. What's up, G? Are you okay? I've just been standing here, holding this for I don't know how long. It'll always be a part of me. Your past is yours. No one can take that away. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. Goodbye, Robert. Just pat that dick. I'm glad you came. <laughs> He's like, I'm not really into that. I just need a few moments to myself. All right. Just wanted to make sure that you're good to go, Cortez. Cortez is always good to go. I like Cortez. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he got some game time. Uh, let's see. Where else was I going? 
I think I'm supposed to see her here. And then towards dude's office after that. Yep. I think Miranda's in here somewhere. I actually think I know where it is. Do, 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 do. Love this classic music. Yeah, we could listen to more of the uh, Blasto. <laughs> Badass fully. It's, it's such a weird thing. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. If you can't tell me anything, I'm not taking resources away from the fight. Fair enough. I was wrong to ask for help. Not wrong, but I can't do it. Is there anything else? Yes. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> Got a confession. When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. But the elusive man stopped me. I'm glad you didn't. Better to stay dead than be someone's plaything. Exactly. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. I think she liked it. <laughs> I didn't give a second thought but, to destroying yeah. her free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? <coughs> yes. I, I think she looked better in the second game. Of my life. I, yeah, I know. She looks a little weird in this one, right? Yeah, something's just not quite right. Made me a prisoner. She's missing the Cerberus logo on her shirt. I don't know how. But you no, it's something like... Thanks. I mean, it's so much being uncertain. I no, I'll wait for dialogue. I always regretted wanting that chip. Apology accepted. We can't change the past. We have enough to deal with right now. Yes, we do. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Good Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. So, I mean, we've talked before about how Mass 3 is a significant graphical upgrade to the second game. Yeah. Like, a lot of the characters look different. Like, some of them... There's something that they did with it so that, like, some characters look significantly changed from the last one. Some of them have just a different hair color from the last one. Like, I think Anderson looks very different from he does in the second game of the first one. Okay, yeah. Um, and I think that Miranda, specifically, was designed very well in the second game. Higher than most other character models. And okay. I think that when everybody else caught up to her, she didn't keep up. So I think that she makes more of an impression in the second game. A, because she's there all the time. B, because she was a better designed physical character than almost everybody else in the game. Could be. Could be. Uh, without a side-by-side -side comparison, it'd be hard for me to say because I don't have these games burned in my memory like you do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Something about her eyes in the second game seemed to make her a bit more alive as a character. But in this game, I'm not seeing that. They seem just slightly off. But it could just be what he was talking about by the way we're comparing them against the surroundings. So, I don't know. Yeah. Lots of different potentials. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Near Presidium Embassy. I like these things. Human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? You have a very low res face. The Kuna, my home world. The Reapers have come, holding sorrow. Our warriors are under siege, but your forces can rescue them. Urgently, please. All the other races have turned us aside. If the Reapers are already there... Desperately, you are the only one who might make the attempt. Small hope, 
Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously, I will remain here for news. Please hurry. Takuna burns. I will probably do that, but off screen. It's not like okay. an actual mission. Gotcha. Okay, so I just realized something. Yeah. On the show The Orville, Patrick Warburton was in a couple of episodes. Okay. As like a temporary, of course he was. As like a temporary safety officer. Yeah. The alien that he was playing had the face of that thing. Interesting. And it had like a little ho elephant nose hose that actually connected to his stomach. Huh. It was weird. Uh, I just realized they had the same face though. That's, yeah. Is that like Farland ripping off uh, Mass Effect as well? Probably. Classic. He rips off everything else. Especially me. And I'm okay with that. I'll still watch his stuff. I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. The situation is growing urgent for my people. We are aware your Crucible is still missing a key component. The Catalyst. Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. Why the sudden cooperation? The Reaper's progress has changed everything. The matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Okay. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. Whenever I see some of those frame skips, uh, the CinemaSins dude pops up on my head. Oh, when, okay. it, when you get to a boring bit of dialogue, he just goes, skip. I agree. Let's see if there's anything to do in here. I really like Cinema Sins. A lot of people give them so much shit, and they still watch it, but they watch it to hate it. I just like it. Plus, you know, he's Nashville Native and Predators fan, so awesome guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I can get behind being the Predators fan. I don't know much about the Predators, but I've been to more of their games than any other professional sporting event. Yeah. But don't you, like, dislike Tennessee teams? I thought, well, maybe is that just the Titans? I hate the Titans. Absolutely. For the most part, I don't like the Vols. The Tennessee Vols College. Okay. Uh, Vols for volunteers. Tennessee is a volunteer state. Uh, I don't like that. Well, you can get the fuck over it. We don't... Yeah, un Well, bastard. okay. I was going to say, we don't have, like, the Goldens, but we have the Golden State Warriors. So. Yeah. That's something. And the 49ers, based off of that one year. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Sports teams are stupid. Yeah. But I like the Nashville Predators just fine. Mostly because they don't have fanatic fans in the same way. And the few sporting events I've been to, they lost. <laughs> but everybody was just like, yeah, still a good hockey game. And I'm like, okay, I can get behind that. Because <laughs> everybody's Canadian. Yeah, pretty well. One time they did lose to Canadians. That was one of the games I went to. Nice. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, almost an hour long here. A very important episode, and I'm glad that it went the way that it did. Yes. I was concerned it was not going to. I, I was worried that we were going to wipe out all the Quarians, and yeah. I would have been sad. Messages, I Do been I? I would have been sad if the Geth got wiped out, too. Yeah. No, there's still a chance for that to happen. I'm hoping that we don't go that route, but we'll, we'll see. Oh, okay. Uh, from Lieutenant Steve Cortez. Shepard, after you left the refugee memorial, I met an old friend who was helping out colonists with, log with logistics. She and her buddies are ex-Alliance pilots, damn good ones, who left the service to build a life on the frontier. They're homeless now, and when I told them about the forces being collected, they were eager to join. I have attached their contact information to forward to Hackett. Hopefully they can help. Thanks again for helping me through this. I'm feeling good. I think maybe I'll hit Purgatory next trip to the Citadel. Want to join me for some drinks? Steve. See, that pat on the dick gave him the confidence he needed. 
<laughs> that was a really weird thing. She like shoulder and then just poof. <laughs> yeah, you're feeling good down here. Yeah, just go get it in at the bar. And he's like, "Thanks." Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this one. Next time, going to Thessia. <laughs> um, so yeah, gonna be some Thessianic times. Yes. But let's do some shout outs. Uh, I'll go first. I'm going to do a shout out to a YouTube channel called JMAC, J M A K. He's basically a YouTuber who these days is doing a lot of Super Smash Brothers stuff. He's basically making tier lists based off of bullshit. Like, <laughs> he makes a tier list based off of, like, taunts or their their victory screen or whatever. Okay. You have sent me some of those videos. I know who you're talking about. And I like him. And I, I noticed. That he's got, like, a similar kind of cadence in the way that he talks that Critical does. Oh, okay. And I was like, that's weird. And then I found out that they're friends. Huh. Like, yeah, there's just, like, some, like, videos of him just, like, having discussions with Critical on it. Playing, playing Smash Bros. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Very strange. Kind of Maybe that's just, like, a, a... What's that town that Critical lives in? A Tampa thing. Maybe it's just a Tampa thing, that that's just the way they talk there. I don't know. I haven't been to Tampa a whole lot. Yeah. I've spent maybe all of eight hours in Tampa, so I don't know. But I specifically noticed, before I knew anything about Critical being having a connection with J-Mac, I was just like, he talks a lot like Critical does. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, all right then. <laughs> Hey, glad it worked out. But yeah, so J Max stuff is good on his own on his own front. Aside from him disliking corn so much, um, but that's not uncommon anyway. But um, yeah, so I, I like him. If you like Smash Bros content, go check him out. It's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so my shout out: we were at Bevmo the other day, and I look in the cider section because I happen to like cider, and I know woodchuck isn't an option around here anymore. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, there's still like woodchuck in California, but I'm not driving an hour to the shitty side of Sacramento to get it. Oh, that's not very far. I thought it was going to be a lot further than Sacramento. Like the far side of Sacramento. Like by Garden Highway? I think so. Yeah, well, yeah maybe fuck that then. Yeah. Maybe we'll go up to Apple Hill and we can and get some And it wasn't even an there. actual place you could buy it. It was a bar. Oh. So that maybe uh, has it then. That maybe has yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not going to call them up and ask. Uh, do, do, do. So yeah. I found another cider there. They had a very fancy label. That's why I picked them up. And they're pretty darn good, uh, especially cold. And first time I saw it, I thought it said Gawain's, but it's Gowan's. Mm -hmm. G-O-W-A-N. Gowan's Heirloom Cider. Yeah, Gowan Commando. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not quite as sweet or as heavy as, like, Angry Orchard. It's got a much lighter feel to it. Okay. But it still tastes like cider, and I really like it. Uh, a lot of the other sides I tried tried to taste too much like beer. They add too much hops. I'm like, if I wanted beer, I just go to a horse and drink the piss out of its dick. That's not what I want. <laughs> That's right. Beer tastes like horse piss. Well, so only if you want to brine horse. best girl in it in your first book. What? What? I don't know what he said. I'm going to have to listen to this recording. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a spoiler, so I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> okay. So I definitely wanted... I've been looking around for some other ciders. And that one's pretty good. It's a bit expensive. I don't think I'm going to get it regularly. I'm probably just going to stick to Angry Orchard most of the time. But for something special, it's good shit. I like it a lot. Yes. All right, guys. We'll catch you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Later. Bye.